So welcome to everything computerized. I am CA and in this video I am going to show you how to use code blocks in order to run your C and C++ programs. So watch this video till end and let's get started. In the previous video, I had shown you how to install code blocks on a Windows machine. So if you want, you can watch that video. I will give the link in the description as well as in the info cards above. So once you have installed code blocks, you can open code blocks via the desktop link or you can go to start and then search for code blocks and then click on it in order to start code blocks. It will take some time in order to start code blocks and for some users, it might open this small pop up. So you don't need to do anything. You need to click on OK and it will launch the code blocks editor. So for the first time, it will show up the startup screen like this. So what you need to do is click on this cross icon in order to close this. Now, the very first thing that we need to do is create a project in code blocks. So you can create either C or C++ project in code blocks. The only difference will be the syntax of the language, but we are not going to look at that. We are just going to look at how to use code blocks. So what you need to do is you need to go to file and then click on new and here you need to click on project. So it is file new and then project. And once you click on it, you will get this small window in front of you. You need to choose console application in this list. So it will be most probably present on the second row first column. So you need to click on console application and then click on go. Now you need to click on next. And now you need to choose the language in which you want the console application to work in. So I will choose C. You can also choose C++. So once you have selected the language, click on next. And now here you need to choose the project title. So I will choose demo C. So this will be the name of my project. And in the second input box, you need to choose the folder where your project will be stored. So for that, you need to click on this three dots uh, button. And now here you need to choose the path to the folder where you need to store your project in. So what you need to do is click on this PC if you are on Windows 10 or 8 and then you need to choose the particular folder. So I will go to desktop because I want to store it in desktop and now I will create a new folder here. So for that right click on here and then click on new and then click on folder and now give it a name. So I will give a name code blocks. You can give it any name and then press enter in order to save that folder. Now click on that folder and then click on select folder button. And now it will be the folder where your projects will get stored in future. So now click on next and then click on finish and your project in the desired language will be created in code blocks. In order to edit the source code for your program, what you need to do is on the left hand side, you will be seeing a tree structure. So there will be demo C, which is the name of the project and underneath we will be having sources. Double click on this sources and then you will find the main source code or you can say the main file of your program. So as we are on C, we are getting main.c and if you have created a C++ folder, then you would get main.cpp. So double click on that particular file and on the right hand side, you will get the source code of that particular file. And now here you can write your C or C++ program, whatever the language you have selected and then you can run it from here. So once you have written the source code, now you would like to run it. So in order to run a project in code blocks, there are two phases for it. So the first phase is building the project and the second phase is running the project. So in order to run a project, you first need to build that project. And for that, you can see a yellow gear icon on the top. So what you need to do is click on it and then on the bottom side, you will get the log or you can say the debug message for the particular build. So if there are no errors, then it will say zero error, zero warning. Once your project has been built successfully, now it is ready to get run. So for that, you need to go back again to the top and then you need to click on this green play icon. So when you click on it, you will see that our project has been successfully run. Now, in order to exit this console, click any button on your keyboard and then it will be closed. Now suppose you have made some modifications in your code and now you would like to run the new code. So again, you need to click on this build icon and then click on this run icon in order to run the new code. So for some people, it might be too much work. So for that code blocks provides us another feature, which is known as build and run. 
so besides build and run button you will be seeing another button and when you hover over it you will see build and run tooltip so when you click on this button what code blocks will do is it will build that particular file or you can say the new program and then automatically run it once it has been built so whenever you write code on to code blocks you can build and run by pressing that particular icon directly without having to build and run it separately so you can just click on this particular icon and then have your code run now let's see what happens if you create another project so click on file and then click on new and then click on project and now again you need to choose console application and then click on go and click on next and here you need to choose the language again so this time i will choose c++ because i have already shown you the working of c so choose the language and click on next and now again you need to choose the project title so i will choose demo cpp because this one is my c++ project so i will choose demo cpp and again in the next box you need to choose the location of the project as I've already chosen the project location previously, it will automatically detect it and then it will put it here. But if you want, you can click on this icon in order to select it again. So I will go to this PC and then click on desktop and then I will choose code blocks and then click on select folder button. And now it will select it again. So now click on next and now click on finish. And on the left hand side, you can see that another project has been added to our workspace so in order to edit the source code for that uh, new project what you need to do is to double click on sources underneath demo cpp so it's like a tree structure so you will automatically know which sources belong to which so we will be editing the source of the c++ project that we have just created now so we will be double clicking on the sources uh, thing just below demo cpp so when you double click on it you will see main.cpp as our new file so double click on it in order to select it and here you can see that we have got the c++ file here now you can edit this again so again we need to build it and then run it or you can do them together by clicking on this build and run icon so when you click on this icon what you will see is the output of our c++ program so this is how you can use code blocks in order to run your C and C++ programs. One additional note is that whenever you are editing your source code and when you want to run it and if you click on this uh, run icon without building the project then what you will see is the output from the previous build. So when you want the output of the new program or the uh, program that you have updated you need to build it first and then only it will get run. So first you need to build it. So you need to click on this gear icon and then click on run or you can do that uh, together that is build and run it. So in order to get the output of a program you first need to build it and then run it. And if you don't do this running the program will give you the output of the previous build of that same program. So when you click on build and run you can see that we have got our new output of the program. Whenever you build a program in uh, code blocks, it automatically gets saved. So you don't need to press Ctrl plus S or you, you don't need to go to a uh, file and then save the project again and again because building the project automatically does it. One more additional note is that whenever you want to open an existing project in code blocks, so what you can do is you can click on file and then click on open. And now here you need to choose the project location. So go to this PC and then go to the path so as we have already stored our uh, project in desktop and then code blocks folder go to that and then we need to choose the particular thing so we can choose any of them so i will choose demo.c and then click on open and then what it will do is it will open that particular folder now what you need to do is click on the file that has the extension as .cbp that is code blocks project so this is the thing which we are going to need so click on it and then click on open so what it will do is it will open the project that we have selected and hence you can start editing it without needing to create a new one so another note is the shortcut key for building and running your project so you can press f9 key on your keyboard in order to build and then run your project so it is the shortcut key for this particular icon that is build and run so whenever you press f9 on your keyboard it will automatically run your program by building it first so if you have edited your code and then you press f9 on your keyboard it will build your code and then run it again 
so i think this will be a bonus for most of you so this is all you need to know before starting to use code blocks for your c and c++ coding if this video was helpful for you please don't forget to leave a like and also share to your friends so that they can also benefit from this video subscribe for more videos like this and press the bell icon in order to get notified whenever i post videos like this thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one